So today we're going to go over a core exercise called the dead bug, but we're going to be using a four foot mobility stick. If you don't have a mobility stick, you could use a broom handle or something of a similar length, but the only problem with that is that this has a nice soft end. And for this exercise, you're going to be required to, to push it into, the, into your foot, okay? So that could be a little bit uncomfortable. So what we're going to do, we're going to get up into that dead bug position, so back flat on the floor, knees going to come up to 90 degrees. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take one hand and place it on the handle here and then the other hand, or the other part of the stick is going to be going into around where the laces are on your trainers. So the end of the game here is, it's basically to, we're going to build up some radiation. Okay, so we're going, to, we're going to brace our core in this position and then we're going to build up some tension and to do that we're literally going to be pushing into the stick, so we're pushing this way and then we're going to try and prevent our leg from being pushed down by holding a nice metric contraction. We're going to build up to around about 30% of what we have. And then when we hit there, we're then going to start going into that dead bug movement. So your arms are going to overhead, and the opposite leg's going to go out nice and, nice and flat there. And then we're going to come back to the start. And then we'll just repeat that for several times. And then back to the start again. That's not really quite difficult to do, even with 30%. And I feel like I'm shaking a little bit already. But if you wanted to increase the effort difficult to this, then you can ramp up the tension even more. So you may want to go up to about 50%. And then carry that movement out. And then back. And if you're feeling really brave, you can ramp up to about 70%. So we're really going to be pushing. So remember the stick's being pushed this way into your foot. And then back to the start. This is a great way to hit both the core, so the abs, especially the lower part of the abs, and also the hip flexors on the opposite foot. So give that one a try and let me know how you get on.